How's it guys? So we're just out in the Mshlunga Ridge area and I'm just looking for a house here. <laughs> um, I'm at 26, where are you? Okay. Ah. Okay, so we've got a vine snake here. Um, sitting on the, on the door handle of the door. <laughs> um, vine snakes are actually highly venomous. It's one of the most venomous snakes in our country. And it's the only highly venomous snake in the country that we do not have an anti-venom for. So bites from this snake would require blood transfusion. Um, so yeah, very, very dangerous snake if you were to get bitten by it. Come on people, there we go. Um, right. Yeah, but they are extremely shy, docile snakes, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, yeah, very shy, very docile. You know, they really don't want to bite. But of course, if you had to grab one of your hand or stand in it or something like that, you probably would end up getting bitten. Um, but yeah, very good-natured little snakes. Let's go grab it. I open the door, walked out, put the watching, and then myself, and this is not this bike snake. <laughs> <laughs> I say so he knew what it was. Yeah, he knew what it was. Okay. Hey, dude. They're so weird yeah. that they always end up in luck. Like, I mean, they got such good camouflage, but they always end up in a place where they're completely not camouflaged. Yeah. Most. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we're forever getting on, like, people's um, burglar guards and doors and just strange places where they're not camouflaged. Would there not be another one around? Um. They are common in this area, but it's not mating season or anything, so there's no reason for them to be like looking for one another. Oh, okay. So there they are around, but I'm sure it's the only one on your property. It looks like it's injured. No, you're talking about that? Yeah, no, on the side, on the tummy. Did you see something? Because there, oh. there is a natural opening where they Oh, poo. could be. Oh. Let's just <laughs> let's see. Every now and then he inflates his neck, and that just he's just trying to tell you that he's how, how grown is he? Is he almost? It's an adult, but it's not fully grown. Oh, okay. They can get a little bit over a meter. They can get like one point two meters. Um, looks like a. And well, what's a common prey for these? Prey would be like geckos. Geckos would be a favorite, and then also the little green spotted bush snakes, the harmless ones. They're quite fond of them. They'll eat them up. And other lizards as well, like your skinks. They'll also take little fledgling birds, um, maybe the odd little mouse. But I think their favorite would be geckos. Uh, and, and frogs as well. Yeah, so they eat a variety of things. What's that? Seems very, very content. content. Yeah, they've got a good nature. They're very shy snakes. They might be very, very dangerous, but they extremely shy. But they have so much here, though, apparently. Yeah, snakes, you mean? Yeah. Oh. Of these. Of these, yeah. And it's it's weird. I never, ever, 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 ever heard of them in this area before the area was developed. I mean, there were houses around you, but they never got vine snakes. But uh, since this area has develop these things. We are, are very familiar with the snake. <laughs> yeah, because we went to Hazelmere. Okay. And, and just came because it came and it was in our, one of our bags. I actually got a so picture of So we quickly did a little bit of research on the incident okay. to see. Okay. And then that's why we recognized it so quickly. Okay. 
Yeah. You see that red tongue? Yeah, I saw the red tongue. So it's got a black tip. I wish you'd stick it out long enough that you could actually oh, see it yes. nicely. Oh, hey? Oh, hey, there you go. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's get you into a bag. I don't want to annoy yeah, you. Yeah, it's not even inflating. When they're really cross and they're really wanting to bite, they'll inflate the neck yeah. and keep it inflated. And do they, do they like heat? Do they like warm places, yeah. Take a video. Yeah. video of because I'm just wondering whether it's the rain that stopped now and these things are emerging. Mm, it is. Yeah, so we had a lot of cold weather, which obviously sent them into like a temporary the hibernation. hibernation. And now that the sun is coming out, they all just can't wait to get out and enjoy, that sun, and yeah. enjoy the sun. Yeah. So we, <laughs> yeah, we, where are you going to take this to now? Not sure exactly where, but it will be during my rounds when I'm close to one of the, you know, nice natural, um, either reserve or just a natural area. Yeah, but they're not very really aggressive, are they? No. They're not only going to be if you attack if you go. I think the only chance you have of getting bitten by this snake is if you stood on it and you actually like pinned him to the ground and he was in pain he may latch onto you or if you grabbed hold of him you know he's fine with sort of being touched in that um you'll do like a little mock strike like that but if i had to physically grab him he'll bite he's puffing his head up yeah okay snake you can see that R is very different to other snakes. They've got like a keyhole shaped pupil. And even the head is a total V. Yes, like an arrow. Yeah, so they've got very good eyesight. Um, these snakes and the boom slang have got the best eyesight of any of the snakes. Is, is a boom slang anything common in this area as well? No. I used to catch quite a few in the Prestondale area, boom slang, but not in recent years. I don't know. the seems like I removed that whole population. But any <laughs> other venomous snakes down here that we should... Night adders. Night adders are quite common. Ooh. But they're not deadly. So they'll give you a nasty bite. But anything venomous? Um, you, get, you get green mambas. Um, more so in the sort of Pressendale. So just over which direction that am that I pointing? I think that's, that's a little yeah. bit more vegetative. Yeah. In terms of the trees yeah. and things. Yeah, exactly. Steady is still developing. Yeah. I think we probably haven't seen the haven't seen them coming yet. Yeah, you'll get green bombers in the place and there. Um and like on the outskirts with that with that school here. Is a school? Redham. Redham, yeah. There's quite a lot around that area. Let's get you into a bag. Now you want to climb the stick. No. So it's not a snake that I often catch. There's not many of them around. I'll probably only catch about maybe five or six of these in a year. Oh, so okay. What a nice change for me. So is, there, is there a particular place where you release them? In, uh, in not in particular, no. I uh, release... Just look at Hazel. Hazel. What's that? Hazel. No. <laughs> well, I have put a few in that area. Um, yeah, I'll because that bushes are quite dense there. Yeah, they, and they, I can, I tell you one thing, they camouflage. Yeah. I'm ashamed that he's in the army, but it's pretty very sensitive. 